What up everyone, Zunumbra here coming at you with another episode of YouTube Diary. Let's start with numbers. So this week guys, or those past 10 days I guess, because I posted a lot of videos since my second episode, we have uh, reached 200 subscribers on YouTube, but I'm not so happy because I think it's going to go down a little bit since a lot of people that subscribe for the giveaway are still like not unsubscribe. And I feel like when you do giveaway, only like 50% of people remain. So I'm excited, but I'm very happy about it, but I don't think it's going to last. Hopefully I can reach like 205, 210, so that I'm like at secure at like the 200 milestone. We did though get a lot of views this week. Uh, we got I think like over 500 views, which is very nice across a lot of videos of course, but it's always nice. I've, I've noticed that a lot of videos from last year are doing really well. Uh, one called what's an o OTP it's actually really interesting how the growth of this video has just like it just like it jumped to like uh, a few thousand views in in a bit I feel like a lot of people just google what is an OTP on YouTube and they just like they just find my video I guess uh, on Twitter we lost a little bit of followers but that's for the that's the giveaway uh, repercussion so we are at 943 and on Facebook we got a like I did do what I wanted to do last week uh, which is um, to organize better my postings and like be sure that everything that is posted on my YouTube is posted on my social media platforms. So I'm posting on YouTube now. Everything that I do is posted on YouTube, posted on on Twitter, but it's also posted on uh, Blogger, on Tumblr, and on my website zonopost.com. So I really spread my content across a lot of platforms, and I also try to do Reddit uh, sometimes. So that was a good uh, thing. So if you don't know what I'm using, I'm using something called if this then that. So I F T T T dot com, and it allows you to set up some applets. And an applet is basically some kind of bot, which is like if I upload a YouTube video, then do this, which is like the name of the name. If if this then that, and I did that. So if I upload a video, tweet. Uh, this if I upload a video Facebook post this and everything is automa automatized so I don't have to worry about it and I can just do videos and post them and and I'm okay when it goes like across all like YouTube uh, all the platforms that I that I manage uh, for Zuna post I try to write a little bit uh, so that it's not just a video on uh, reddit I try to choose a specific uh, specific subreddit for my content sometimes my content is more esports related than League of Legends sometimes I talk about other stuff sometimes it's like a guide so it goes more like to summoner school so reddit I'm trying to be smarter because it's not like I can't do it like automatically like it's not gonna go anywhere and I feel like reddit is trying to it's like you're trying to target your content as well as possible on reddit because otherwise it's definitely not gonna work uh, besides the numbers I wanted to talk about Something that I mentioned on the episode 2, which was uh, collabs, and I think I want to start reaching out to other YouTubers that are more successful than, than me in the platform, and just maybe ask if I can do a, something to help them, sorry about that, uh, so that maybe I can uh, make a video for them, or like make some sort of like podcast for them, and get like some sort of shout out, or like just like a collab, and he say, oh I did this collab with this YouTuber, go check it out. Uh, so I don't know, I'm thinking of like a few YouTubers, I've been searching for YouTubers, so I'm not, I will not talk to YouTubers with like hundreds of thousands of uh, subscribers, but some that have like 10,000, 20,000, maybe I can help them, or maybe we can duo queue on League of Legends and do like some kind of like uh, episode, but it's always hard to communicate with them, uh, for some reason it's really hard to communicate with those people, um, but I mean I'm having trouble doing so, but We'll see how uh, this goes. I feel like it will really help me to jump my channel a little bit and get some new audience. I've seen a podcast with, um, if you guys don't know the podcast, H3 podcast from the H3, from the H3, H3 production. Uh, they started a podcast that they do live on Twitch every Friday and they received uh, last week Boogie2988, the YouTuber that a lot of people know one of the most the oldest youtuber in the platform and he said like if you guys want to promote your YouTube channel go talk to other creators and start to do something with them like provide something that is more valuable and ask something in return after like do something for them do shit for them 
and then add something in return, which is like a shout out or like a link in description or some stuff like that. So I might start like studying this and like just maybe target like five YouTubers, send some emails, introduce myself and be like, hey, what's up? What can I do for you so that I can maybe get a shout out at the end? Uh, very, I think I, I don't need to be like not transparent. I can just literally say I'm trying to promote my channel. I'm doing content every day. I don't think there's anything bad from that. I feel like if I was in their position, I wouldn't mind. Uh, the thing is that I don't know how much people are doing this. So like if you get a hundred emails like this every day, you're definitely not going to do it. I mean, that, that just, that just doesn't happen, right? Like nobody is going to do that. And I totally understand. So, so basically, yeah, so that was this week. So I tried many videos this week. I I introduced new channel, a uh, new like series, like this week in esports, which had like a 25 views in a day in less than 24 hours, which is I'm super happy about. Uh, I also talked about a patch review that did like 30 views in one day um, with like six likes and zero dislikes. So I'm actually very happy about those results. I brought up the three tip series a little bit back. I also brought up the random cues back, which is like. Uh, a video where I take three random questions from subreddits, forums, Twitter, from people from the community of League of Legends that have like specific question, and I try to answer them and show some gameplay and just show some examples to to show them. The last thing I want to talk about is my Irelia uh, video. I think I'm going to start playing a lot of Irelia, and what I've noticed is that I feel like a lot of OTP League of Legends YouTubers are being very successful because. Uh, they're the best at what they do because, well, they're an OTP, like, I'm thinking of examples like, you see Heisman, he's like an OTP League of Fly, uh, Lee Sin, Professor Akali is a Akali OTP, uh, Flyback is a Katarina OTP, and we're seeing more of, like, OTPs coming on and then, we have the Shaco one, I don't remember his name, so I'm like, okay, I'm feeling the Irelia thing, so I'm just going to start playing her a little more, and honestly, it's been going great, I'm very proud of my last videos, and I think I really stepped up my thumbnail game. I think it's so important now. Getting inspired from uh, other successful YouTubers on that. Uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for this week, guys. I'm feeling I'm feeling good, to be honest. Um, the growth is... Uh, we're getting there, for sure. We got a few subscribers, few viewers, few people that I've never seen before posting comments and stuff. So I'm, I'm very happy about it. I can see some results. And hopefully we can keep moving forward. And yeah. I'll see you next week for the next episode, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Peace.